guys, it's Patricia, your independent Scentsy consultant from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada. Today I'm bringing to you my Scentsy empties video for the month of March. And we are going to do things a little backwards. Normally I do the wax first and then the other products, but we're going to do the other products first. My bin is full. I'm going to sort through these items. I'll pause the video, get back to you, and hopefully by watching this video, it will help you make informed purchasing decisions. Okay, I'm back. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to pull and talk. The first item I went through for other products is an all-purpose cleaner concentrate in Blue Grotto. So I finally finished it off. I mixed up my last bottle yesterday and I had my first bottle of all-purpose concentrate. It was in lemon verbena and then this one and it's roughly those two lasted me a whole year. Now I should, in saying that I have the bottles of this kind of distributed throughout my home. This one here, I don't think I really like Blue Grotto in the cleaning line. It smells different, especially in the bathroom cleaner. I find it really smells different. I would not repurchase Blue Grotto again, but I really do like the all-purpose cleaner concentrate. Great value, really can't be beat. I finished up a Scentsy Fresh in Just Breathe, and I really, really like this, and I'm so sad because this is not available in the scent anymore. Just Breathe is available. But oh yes, it's basically lemon, eucalyptus, and a medley of mints. And this is really, really nice, like sprayed on your bedding. It's nice and fresh. Just makes it smell really clean. So I'm kind of sad that's gone. For dishwashing soap, I finished up Driftwood Bay. Now I do have something to show you. <laughs> so I thought I was brilliant. And I said, I'm going to use the pump from my scents off and put it in my dish soap. So I was trying to pump out the last little bit and I'm thinking, why didn't, why isn't it working? Because I know if you use the one from the laundry liquid, it stops short, but the scent soft is a bigger bottle. Well, let me show you <laughs> what happened. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it looks like. In dentistry, we call this a blunder bust apex, <laughs> which if you're in dentistry, you'll, you may know what that means. But anyway, this scent was pretty good. I mean, I really like the new formulation of the dish soap. If you have one of the old formulations from probably a year, probably a couple years ago, did not suds very well. The new formulations, they said suds great. Um, my only concern with the dish soap is that it is kind of costly, but if you have a scent that you really, really like, then pick it up. It makes washing dishes more enjoyable, that's for sure. So I finished up a hand soap in Silver Bells. Now this is not the hand soap challenge <laughs> soap, but this one was very disappointing. I love Scentsy's hand soap, but this one, I don't remember it being brown to start, but it was brown and it didn't smell like Silver Bells at all. And it just kind of smells strange. We used it. <laughs> I put it in my kid's bathroom and my daughter complained about it. She said, I don't like that dirty looking soap. <laughs> so I had to take it out. Sometimes if I don't like something, I put it in there bathroom and anyway she didn't like it either and uh, let me tell you I love silver bells and let me regularly it smells like this mint candy canes winter pear caramel and vanilla sugar it just smells like a nice sweet minty almost like body care scent I love it just didn't love this and like I said I do love the hand soaps definitely speak highly of them I just don't know what happened to the silver bells it didn't work out so well um, my driftwood bay has leaked a little bit because it must have been a little bit coming off my <laughs> when, I, when I looked at it. Anyway, peach and white amber body cream. This is basically peach, white magnolia, and sugar blossom. This stuff, the smell on it is soft but beautiful. I love it. My son put it on. He goes, it smells like nothing. And then he goes, oh, wait a second. It smells nice. I smell it now. So it's not one of those aggressive ones. But the problem with this one is it was very runny. Like, I love Scentsy's body cream. They're always nice and thick. But this one was runnier. So I'm not really sure why that was. But um, one I noticed in particular that was quite thick is sugar. So if you have a couple sugars kicking around, you should pull that out and use it. So for car bars, I finished up a clean breeze which is a laundry scent. It still kind of smells here, but after a while you don't really get much, even shoving it when I do my shove in the vent technique, which I don't recommend because you could ruin the finish on your um, car, but I don't really care. I do it anyway. This one was pretty strong. I remember at first I I didn't even like, <laughs> I, I wanted to kind of put it away somewhere because it was so strong, but after a few days it kind of died off. I don't think I'd repurchase it because I'm not a huge laundry scent person, but 
This one is Amazon Rain. Um, this was in another vehicle and it was okay. It was lighter. It's not a favorite scent of mine. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fresh scent. Most people love it. I'm okay with it. I won't repurchase Amazon Rain again. This I really liked. It was, you can't really see it, but it says Apricot Vanilla Scent Circle. And coming out of the gate, oh my gosh, I was like, this is so nice. I love this. And the only thing was it didn't last very long, but if that scent could be maintained, like I might pick up the car bar to see if I can maintain this scent. It's like apricots, peach, and vanilla, but it smells so good when you have it in the scent circle. And then you can shove it in the vent as well. I used up a sample of pink cotton washer whiffs, which are scent boosters for your laundry. You put them in the drum of your washing machine before you add the clothes and before you add the water. Unfortunately, I couldn't really get a good idea if this was good or not because this is all I had. So I do have the full kit except for the scents off. So once I'm finished with Scentsy Clean, which by the way is doing phenomenal right now, I will switch over to pink cotton. So hopefully in the future I will have some more feedback on that. Here's a Go Go Mango Washer Whisk, which is a lighter to medium scent in the washer whisk. I find it's very nice, but it doesn't seem to linger long on the clothes. I do have a laundry liquid I'm just finishing up with that. I have a scent pack. Um, I like to hang this in my closet downstairs in my laundry room to give fragrance to that little closet because sometimes we hang things up that need to dry so it gets a little, you know, nasty smelling. But when you have a scent pack in there, it really scents it up. So aloe water and cucumber was a great scent in the in the closet. It has uh, it has aloe, it has cucumber, palm frond, and pineapple nectar, something like that, aloe water. Anyway, I would repurchase that one again. I did like it. I used up a couple bulbs this month, so I just wanted to use this as a reminder to make sure when you're placing an order at the very last minute, <laughs> double check, add at least one bulb to have a backup of every bulb. It's always good to be prepared. We finished up a Scentsy Soak and Winterberry Apple Tea, which is winter tea, cranberry, apple, and honey. This was really nice. My son, my youngest, likes these baths. So I would, if that came back, I probably would grab it again. It was quite enjoyable. I liked it. For Scentsy Oils, uh, I, I have a lot of oils and I have um, a lot of tester size, which are the five mil. So I went through four. So we'll go through them briefly here, in case you're not an oil person. I finished up Cheers, which has pear in it. And I think it's got like champagne bubbles and things like that. This was, you know, this was nice. It was sweet. It was pretty good. It was slightly soft. I finished up a rose chamomile lavender, which I did not really like, but I put this a lot of times in my son's room. Yeah, it doesn't smell good. I don't really like this. The combination of those three things kind of smells funky. But it's not so bad when it's diffused. And remember, when you're diffusing things, it's very concentrated in the bottle. But once you diffuse them, it smells a lot better. So try not to judge just straight out of the <laughs> straight out of the bottle. Now this one is a really good one. Orange strawberry melon. This would be a repurchase for me. I probably have another bottle in the backup. Yeah, this is nice. You definitely get the orange and you get like a little tiny bit of strawberry melon, but definitely heavy on the orange as your top note. And this is my favorite oil. It's currently available. I love this one. I'm buying another 15 mil bottle and I think I have another five mil bottle and this is watermelon red berries. And I'm not even a huge watermelon fan, but this is just so sweet and yummy. Mm, you get a nice balance. I'd say it's a tiny bit heavier than on the red berries, but that watermelon just kind of gives it that refreshing coolness. When I say coolness, you know how berries can be almost like really thick and the watermelon just kind of dilutes it just perfectly. Love, love, love watermelon red berries. If you want one to try, oh my gosh, I'm getting oil everywhere now. If you want one to try, <laughs> give that one a try. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly talk about three scents that I used up in tester form. So these are all the Tester Tuesday scents I've used up to this point in the month, but there's three, that, so we're all over, suggest you go watch those videos if you want to hear about a specific scent. But there are three testers that I used that I'll talk about now. The first one is Sugar Blooms. Two mini testers. I put them in my bathroom and the scent notes on that are basically, 
Actually, I don't have the scent notes, but, but I can write them down below. I don't think I wrote the scent notes because I could not get anything out of these. They just smelled like paraffin wax. So these kind of went downhill, but, but on the back of the testers, it says romance. So sugar blooms was probably in the romance section. I finished up two summer sunrise, which is juniper berry, cardamom, black pepper, bergamot, and cedar. This was a former scent of the month. This was okay. I don't really get a lot of those notes. I remember when I got it, it just smelled like a warm, a warm, fresh scent to me. Yeah, I was okay with it. It was soft. It smelled like, like a little bit of citrus, but it, I guess that's the bergamot. Anyway, summer sunrise. And last but not least, and this is coming back in the Bring Back My Bar, which is coconut cotton. I had a tester. It was almost like white in color, so I don't know if it had discolored. This is coconut milk, cotton, citrus, and sandalwood. Now this here, I have not had good luck in general with coconut cotton. I think it's just my nose or my house, but I don't get a very strong scent out of it at all. I cut this in half and put half of each in a 15 watt mini warmer in a very small bathroom and I could smell it, but it's just kind of underwhelming. And I will continue to warm coconut cotton probably in that location or maybe in my daughter's room when the Bring Back My Bar comes out. So let's move on to discussing the scents. We're gonna do new scents, bring back, um, bring back my bar. Scents of the month, old stuff, then bring back my bar. And don't forget the question of the month is coming at the end. But let's start with a brick. I finished a brick. Yay me. <laughs> apple butter frosting is one of my favorite scents. This is cinnamon spiced apples and vanilla buttercream frosting. And you guys don't even need me, need me to discuss this probably because you're sick and tired of hearing me rave on and on about it. But it's very comforting to me. It relaxes me. I really like it. It's soft and gentle, but it's a strong performer at the same time in that it's long lasting. It's got a gentle cinnamon for the people that don't like cinnamon. I really like this. Definitely in my top 10, maybe even my top five scentsy scents. I finished up a beat up <laughs> bar of Just Breathe. My sponsor gave me this. It was all beat up, like really beat up. So I actually put it in a polypropylene bag, just the whole bar to preserve the scent. Then I noticed later that some of these jagged edges had cut a hole in the bag. But anyway, this is, like I said, it's eucalyptus, lemon, and a medley of mints. This was really nice. I warmed some of it downstairs in my open layout. It did okay. It wasn't like a blow you out, but it was really nice. Left a clean scent, a nice refreshing crisp um, lemon, the eucalyptus, and the mints. They all work together to give a nice, fresh, clean smell. To me, that's what I get. If you warm this in smaller zones, it's going to be a little bit heavier in the air. You're going to be able to get it more. If you want to dilute the intensity, put it in bigger zones. I finished up Go Go Mango, which is in the fruity category. This is mango, melon, hibiscus, and banana flower. To me, I get a lot of mango and I get a lot of hibiscus with this one. And it's just a nice combination of a fruity floral. It's really nice to add a little tiniest bit of floral in with the fruit, just kind of balance it out. This one is doing well. Go Go Mango is about a medium performer for me. Some people don't get a lot of out of it, but I'm okay with it. I get pretty good results with this in my home. I'm not gonna repurchase it. I do like it in the uh, cleaning line a lot though. Uh, one of my favorites that I like is Mocha Doodle. And this is coffee beans, cocoa, sugar, caramel, and heavy cream. This does really, really well in my open layout. So that's where I tend to warm it. I don't warm it here in my bedroom or anything like that. I just warm four cubes at a time, my open layout, so I get two warmings. Now, I do want to say, when I go through my empties, I don't, like, have a full bar, finish the whole bar. Like, I have some that might have four cubes left, two cubes left, six cubes left. It's all over the place. So some months I'll, I'll do really well and finish a lot. Some months I won't, but I just kind of go with the flow. Anyway, Mocha Doodle will be a repurchase for me. I think I have a backup. I like to buy one and have a backup. That way I don't have to wait for an order to come in. The ones I really like. From the new release, I finished up Cocoa Lime. This is coconut milk, creamy vanilla, and fresh lime. Yeah, I like this one. I don't love it. I really was hoping to love it. I really like the scent of vanilla lime from Yankee. It's a very sweet lime. This is a bit of a cleaner lime with a creamy vanilla coconut addition. Now, it starts out really strong for me in my open concept, but then after maybe three hours or so, it kind of just fizzled like you couldn't smell it the greatest. So it was great, and then it was kind of underwhelming. So 
I'm not really sure. I did mix this with marshmallow mint. I really like that combo. I mixed this with pina colada cha cha. That one I liked as well, but I think I like marshmallow mint better. And I'm actually considering warming this with pistachio ice cream when I get another bar. So I'm still gonna get another bar. It's just something might be great to put in for short spurts if you wanna cleanse the air and you're not looking to get days and days out of it. That would be my advice. For scents of the month, I finished up two. I finished up Strawberry Rose, which is strawberries, rose petals, and sheer musk. To me, I get a very candy, powdery strawberry from this, but pleasant. I like it, it's not a love. I definitely like it a lot though. I do find in my house, it's about a medium, and then it doesn't seem to last as long as I want. It's not like Coco Lime. Um, well, they're both kind of, this one maybe lasts a bit longer, but I, I usually use this in bedrooms. I don't think I've warmed this downstairs at all, but um, I think I still have a few bars of this left. And I remember my um, director was surprised that I still have some bars left. Like, I think a lot of her customers wanted to buy it, but but no one, not very many of my customers kind of expressed interest. So anyway, everybody's a little different. Uh, Poppy Fields. This was February scent of the month from last year, as in 2019. This is Red Poppy Fig and Rose Petals. Now this is a strong one, folks. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> It'll blow you out. Very floral, very sweet with that fig and the rose together. Almost like a little bit overbearing for some. Um, I decided to mix this with sugar on the advice of Melinda. And it's a pretty good combination with sugar. I like it better with sugar. So if you have extra sugar, try that with Poppy Fields. If you like Poppy Fields on its own, then go to town. <laughs> All right, let's talk about scents that are no longer available. But like I say, you should always have a little bring back my bar list either on your phone or up here <laughs> or even on paper and you want to hear about scents that are retired because you always want to add to them, add to your list. I finished up a Saint Knickerdoodle, which is from the Scents of the Season collection probably about three years ago. Now this one here is baked apples, spices, and powdered sugar. The only thing on cold, I don't really like the powdered sugar, but when I warm it, I really, really, really like this. It's nice, it's pleasant, it's yummy, it's bakery, it's goodness, it's a tiny bit of spice, and it's very sweet. And it, it's a good one. I would like to see that one come back. The next one I finished up was a former scent of the month, but I like to talk about it because it's so old. I'll just put my retired ones and that's Citrus Garden, which is Lime, Meyer, Lemon, and Garden Thyme. Now I have a few of bars of this because when I first came out, I kind of stockpiled it. And this to me is a pink grapefruit scent. Despite what the scent notes say, this is pink grapefruit. If you're someone that likes pink grapefruit, if you like the scent Morning Bliss, from Sensationals. This is very similar. Um, it's a very strong pink grapefruit scent. And it was a little sweaty. You can kind of see some of the oils building up there. That's Citrus Garden. A nice citrus to kind of break up the heaviness of winter. Speaking of another citrus, this is one of my favorites. It is Lime and Sugar Cane. This is Lime, Sugar Cane, and Frozen Mint. Yeah, and the Sugar Cane and the Frozen Mint give that lime very distinct smell, but it's good. Now it's funny, I absolutely used to love this. this. This one was sweaty as well. I used to love this. I, I don't know if I'm, it's not that I dislike it or anything like that. Don't get me wrong, all you Lime and Sugar Cane fans. <laughs> but sometimes it's like, you almost have to warm a certain scent when you're craving it. Because if not, it doesn't hit the spot. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if you're craving something and it's out of season, I say warm it. Who cares? If you want to warm pumpkin spice in the middle of summer, do that. If you want a warm iced pine in the middle of summer, go for it. You get my drift. Anyway, when I warmed this, I don't think I was in the mood, but I just warmed it because I wanted to get rid of the sweaty bar. So next time I warm it, I think I have two bars left. I think I'm gonna make sure I'm very much in the mood for a lime scent, and that's probably my go-to. Green Apple from the Jelly Belly Collection. This is Tart Green Apples, Spun Sugar, and Candy Sweet Vanilla. So the Tart Green Apples are with an asterisk because it's very candy-like artificial that vanilla candy vanilla really comes through this is if you're someone that likes a lot of candy scents artificial you're okay with artificial fruit scents and you kind of like that I'm not saying this is bad I actually kind of like it um, but but I wouldn't recommend this to someone that likes fresh scents in other words <laughs> but 
it's always good to throw when you're giving out samples in an order if somebody is ordering a lot of fresh scents maybe give them another fresh sample but also include something a little bit that might be in a neighboring category uh, that they, you think they might like like an, include a citrus or throw in a bakery just to see because you never know what they're gonna like so that is green apple that one I think we have one more it's not in my club or anything like that but I will probably warm that in my daughter's room she really likes it hashtag goals this is citrus zest pomelo cashmere and teakwood now the funny thing is I really really enjoy this scent but man it's still light like it's a little bit more um, oomph to it now that it's been sitting for a few months but it's still a subpar on the strength and I think since he does that in collections they'll, they'll have a collection of five things and a couple of them will be strong and a, well no probably one will be strong a couple of them will be medium and a couple will be light and I think they do that because there's a lot of people in the general population that don't like heavy scents personally I like heavier scents because you can use less wax so you get more for your money I don't really like light scents because then you have to use multiple cubes to get the scent that you want. You get where I'm going. But anyway, I'm sure Scentsy does that for a reason. But uh, yeah, if this was stronger, I would be all over it. And last but not least for the old bars, I have Snow Place Like Home. This one is Cool Mint and Fresh Air. And it's almost like quite a bit of air because it's, it's not very strong for me. It's, it's sweet and minty and, yeah, sweet, minty, one of those traditional scents that they come out with every year to kind of mimic that snow, crisp, fresh air feeling. This is kind of it from last year. So this year we had um, I'm Snow Over It, and then the year before that we had Snow Place Like Home, and then the year before that they probably had Glacial Ice. And you know, every year there's kind of one that mimics this scent. So this was okay. It was just too light for me. So that is Snow Place Like Home. Now I have a few Bring Back My Bars to go through. Some are from recent collections and some are from older collections. And then we'll do the question of the day. So I have from the most recent collection, I have Plumeria. And <laughs> the one thing about this is whenever I see this, I always want to sing Disturbia, you know, instead of but instead it would be Plumeria, it's like the sensi in your life, Plumeria. Anyway, <laughs> so now that I've scared you, um, this is pink and gold Plumeria, jasmine and juicy pear. And I definitely get the pear and I get the floral. And uh, to me, it's a nice combo. It's not a love, it's in the like. Um, speaking of, if anybody is not watching Rianne and Siri, I freaking love her series. She's got these three baskets. There's like a happy face. A neutral face and a sad face and she could, she's going through her whole scentsy stash letter by letter like in groups and putting things in the baskets and then she's going to tell us how she's going to get through all them <laughs> but anyway I, I suggest you go check out her videos this would be in the middle category for me it was okay it wasn't as strong as i thought it was going to be it didn't perform as great as i thought it was going to be about medium um and medium duration as well and i find florals tend to last a while but that one not so much this one is Rainforest, and this is Amber, Soft Musk, Fern, Citrus, and Berries. Not at all like Rainforest Bungalow. This is a very, like a fresh green mossy scent to me with a little perfume undertone. That is Rainforest. Very light. I had to stick to my kid's bathroom for that one to get anything out of it. Not a repurchase. Here's, here's one I don't really like. I finally finished it up. It's quiver and I feel the daggers coming at me because I know there's a lot of quiver fans. This is vanilla flower, warm sandalwood, and night blooming tuberose. And this is very assertive, like almost like whoa. <laughs> like someone went and loaded the perfume on and they also put like I said one other time their hair their hair was sticking way up with all the hairspray. <laughs> it feels like I feel like they're flammable if, if you put too much quiver on. But anyway, it's kind of like an alcoholy smell a little bit. But it's very strong, like very strong on the like the sandalwood. And I usually like sandalwood, but when you combine that with the night blooming tuberose, I think that's what does it for me. I don't care for that one. I'm happy it's gone. <laughs> it's not coming back. Okay, we have Wassail. Wassail is oranges, apples, and mulling spices. This was a beautiful scent. Oh, it's such a nice scent. It's like the perfect soft, like fall scent but soft is the underlying word so like it's a very 
It's almost like a creamy apple. I don't really get oranges. I think there says oranges. I don't get that. I get a very softly spiced, slightly creamy apple, but you get the spices. I feel like there's vanilla as a backdrop here, but it comes in later. But yeah, this one is not very strong, so a little disappointing. And I want to say, with regards to Bring Back My Bars, or anything that's been recently poured, if you don't get good results from them, it could be that it's not a strong scent. It also could be that it just needs time to set and mature or cure. So if you're not in any rush to use it up, put it aside, try it again a few months. Sometimes you'll get better results from it. I have had better results from some Bring Back My Bars when I warmed them a few months later. This one doesn't need any help. It's pretty strong on its own. It's not a boomer, but it's fairly strong. It's Spice Berries. This is Frankincense, Myrrh, and Berries. Now this one here, it's like a berry, spicy berry, a little bit of like cinnamon, but it also reminds me of when you go to church and they put the oil on your head and, and you know that, that oil smell that you won't only get when you go to church. <laughs> that's kind of what I get, and that's probably the frankincense or the myrrh, I'm not sure. But yeah, this one here, um, my son kind of liked this one, so I put that in his bathroom, bathroom bedroom to finish up. It was about a medium and for long lasting as well, about a medium, maybe a slightly longer. This one is one that we haven't seen in a while. It says Cranberry Mango from 2016, Bring Back My Bar. The scent notes are Tropical Mango, Cozy Cranberry, and Spicy Pineapple. Doesn't that sound great? This was a really, really nice scent, but man, it was light. And this bar was kind of like a Scentsy drug deal bar, and it was all beat up looking and terrible looking wax. So I'm gonna say that I think it had something to do with the way that the owner of this did not care for it. Um, they just looked like they didn't care about their Scentsy bars. But uh, anyway, I would like to try this again. I did really like the scent, and I think I would enjoy it with a fresh bar. And very light, so I'm not sure, like I said, if that's true to its true to the case. So if you've warmed cranberry mango, let me know in the comments below how you made it with it. We have apple press from the most recent release. This is apples, pears, and a hint of rose. A nice strong presence of apple. I don't get very much rose. The rose to me doesn't really present as a floral. It just gives a little bit of like a different than Johnny Appleseed. Like Johnny Appleseed is more fresh and fruit. This is more fresh, fresh, fresh with the tiniest twist of like fanciness. Oh yeah, I like this one too, but uh, where Johnny Appleseed's available, I'm gonna go with that. This one was strong. Doesn't last very long being an apple scent, but it's nice and strong. And we have Tingelo. This one is from a 2017 Bring Back My Bar, and this was actually in a Tester Tuesday, so I will talk about it briefly here. It's Tangelo, or Tangelo, lemon, apricot, and pink lychee berry. Or is it, le yeah, like, I don't know. <laughs> I should look it up. Oh, I really like this one. It's growing on me, like, a lot. It reminds me if you took Kahika Hula, like a nice tropical citrus fruity scent, yummy, almost like something that you'd want to drink in a smoothie. And mixed it with the Dumbo scent, which is like clementine and vanilla. Um, the Dumbo has a little astringent note in it that I do kind of pick up a tiny bit here. Maybe that's why I link them together. But this one here down in my son's room lasted a long, long time. So closed, closed space, doors, windows, all that stuff. Not probably something I'd put in open concept, but definitely stands up to a medium-sized room, like a rec room, big bedroom, that kind of stuff. Now, before we leave for the day, I'm just going to do our question of the month. So, I feel like I have wax on me. Recently, the Bring Back My Bars were announced, and we have a nice list. Uh, but what I want to know from you guys is, Sensi had made quite a few changes the last time they voted. There wasn't the two-year rule. They stuck to a spring and summer selection. Um, what else? I can't even remember what else. <laughs> um, only one round of voting. Tell me. Did you like the changes or not? Or did you like some of them and not? Let me know down in the comments below. It'll be interesting to see if we do the same thing again come the fall for the, uh, probably December. It'll probably release them in December. Bring back my bar. So as always, I'd like, you, like to thank you for spending the last few minutes with me. I appreciate your time. I know personally in this trying time, I'm actually very excited to see a notification um, that I get to watch a video from someone and I like to um, purposely not mention what's going on very much because most people have heard enough and they watch what they want to watch when they want to watch it. So anyway, 
I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods, as great as you can in these circumstances, and I will see you in the next video.